Hey guys, it's me, Nori from HITC Football. I don't like Premier League predictions. They're very bad, even though I make one. I'm kind of getting sick and tired of it, I have to be honest. Sorry about that intro. Um, I just, you know, he's, yeah, big Nori fan. See the badge? Hello, welcome back to HITC Football. I'm your host, Rev Boy, and in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Premier League's team of the season. Woo! <laughs> He's like that. Do you feel the energy coming through your screen, through your communication device? Do you feel that? If you're on laptop, you can feel it coming from the fan. If you're on your phone, your battery's getting warm, and the video's so hot, it makes you drop your phone. And, yeah, you're sad, and you're angry, and you put a comment down there hating on me, because I'm not, I'm not the Irish Donny. But as I just said, I am going to be predicting the Premier League team of the season. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each position. This formation is going to be a bit of a 4-2-4. So four centre-backs, two midfielders and four attackers slash two wingers, two strikers. And yeah, let's just crack straight into it with our pick for goalkeeper. And I'm going to go for someone that isn't Allison or Edison or Ramsdale, who I think might be in with a shout, along with the likes of De Gea as well, especially if Man United can get a bit better at the back. But I'm going to go with Nick Pope. It's a bit of an out there one. I don't really think it is going to be him. But I think he might be good enough to the point that he may get in above Pickford. But no, in Southgate, he probably won't. I think for Newcastle, he's going to be solid. They were defensively sound. If you even look at last season, since Eddie Howe came in around January period, if you go off results based between January to the end of the season, Newcastle would have been third. And also on top of that, they had one of the best defences in the league for that tail end of the season. So I think if he's got a good front line in front of him, I think he can keep a lot of clean sheets, which might give him the right to get into the team of the season. But not in the Premiership. They won't pick him anyway. And our pick for left back is going to be Perisic. Little bit controversial, not because of the player's ability and what I think he'll do, just because he's going to be playing very, very high to the point you may not even consider him a left wing back. Some may consider him a left winger. I don't know if they take that into consideration when they're picking these players, but as far as I do recall, the likes of Alonso and Victor Moses for Chelsea's team when they won the season under Conte were still considered as fullbacks. So based off that premise, I'm going to go for Perisic. I think he's going to rip it up. Conte loves his wing backs. They're usually the best players in his team. And to top it off, Perisic's ability is really, really good. He's worked with Conte before. I don't see why he won't do good. And it also, if he can pick up, I don't know, a few defensive stats along the way, even though I feel like it's not going to be a main part of his game to keep him in the team. I think Perisic is a good shout, so I'm going to go for Perisic for left back. Back two, let's do them together at the same time. I'm going to go for Koulibaly, a new player that's coming in. Ruben Diaz obviously deserves a shout straight away just because he has been so good for City since coming in. I think Matip is in for another really good season as well, along with the likes of Canate at Liverpool. I think both of them could be in conversation, but I just, you know, I want to get a few other teams in there than just Liverpool and City players. So for that reason, I'm going to go for Koulibaly, partnering the one and only Virgil van Dijk. Dyke. I think this, in a way, is going to be Van Dyke's best season to a degree. I think after this season, we may see a little bit of decline in Van Dyke, especially if he picks up another injury, which he tends to do. So for that reason, I'm going to put Van Dyke in here, but he's just, it, 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 it's big verge. He just gets in there, doesn't he? In a right back, I've gone for Reese James. Not because of my Chelsea buyers. I just think if he can have a full season of not being injured, he's going to pick Trent. I just think he can. Last season, he was definitely in contention till picking up his knock. And even at the end of the season, he was still in contention after to miss in a lot of games so if you can stay fit stay off the injury table i think you'll do very very well and i'm gonna go for reese james over trent alexander arnold into our midfield two and i'm gonna go with two manchester city players i'm gonna go with kevin de bruyne because it's kevin de bruyne kind of the same as van dyke i do think we are not gonna see the best from De Bruyne going on after this season. I do expect a little bit of a decline, but he'll still be quality, he'll still be world class, he'll still be KDB without a doubt. But I just think once again, midfield's a tough one. A lot of midfielders, if they don't score goals, don't get considered for these teams. But I think De Bruyne is a safe bet and I can see him getting into the Premier League team of the season once again. And just as I hit the halfway point in the team, I'm also gonna hit the halfway point in the video and ask you all please to subscribe to the channel, make sure you leave a like as well. Make sure you let me know your thoughts and your predicted Premier League team of the season down in the comment sections below. There's a link in the description. If you press that, you can, um, it will take you somewhere nice and make sure you hit subscribe on that channel because I'm not technically legally allowed to um, promote my content. On I'm cracking straight back into it. We're going to go with big old Cal. Calvin. 
Calvin Phillips. This is the one that I really don't really back at all. If Rodri picks up an injury or he has a good run in the team under Pep, I could see Phillips being an absolute world beater for Manchester City. But I don't, yeah, I just, I didn't know who to go for. I just didn't want to go De Bruyne, Rodri. I just didn't want to go De Bruyne, Fabinho. I just didn't, you, you know, I wanted to go for someone a bit different. So let's go for another new signing and let's go for Phillips in at centre mid, partnering Kevin De Bruyne. And this is where it gets spicy because we move on to the front four and we're going to start with Hugh Min Sun. I think Sun's going to have a banging season once again. I think this is going to be the season where people start to say, right, like, it's no longer just Salah the best player in the Prem, and Sun comes into that contention. Last season, very, very close, and then obviously got pipped by Salah on assists. But I think under Conte this season, we saw how well he ended last season. I think Sun will be absolutely fantastic without a doubt. So I can see Sun being right there in nine months' time. I've gone for another new signing in up front in a two man partnership, and I've gone for Gabriel Jesus. I think he is going to be quality under Arteta. I think he's got the finishing that Arsenal have needed from a forward. He's got the drive, he's got the stamina. He can play full games, even though we never really got to see him do that. He can definitely do it, without a doubt. If he can stay fit, he will definitely be in with a shout for the team. I don't know if he'll get in, but for me, I just think he's going to be quality. So I'm going to put Jesus up next to Harry Kane. Let's go! Oh. Kane is going to have to score goals this season, without a doubt, if he wants to even be in the conversation of being one of the best strikers to ever grace the Premiership. He needs to score and mainly focus on scoring. Yes, it's fantastic for the team when he's getting assists, but for him and his legacy, and what he's going to leave behind. People look at goals before they look at assists. That's just simple as. Having a full season, hopefully for Tottenham fan and for the players at Tottenham under Conte, should definitely get him into that goal scoring mood that he needs to be in. Without a doubt, he needs to be scoring game in, game out, back to the cane he was two, three years ago, where if he didn't score, you'd be worried. But I think in a very attacking Tottenham team with the likes of Son next to him again for another season and then also with the acquisition of Perisic, there's going to be a lot of balls squared across the box and Kane just needs to make sure he's there to poach him in. But just as I move into the last player, I'd like to welcome back my co-host here on HITC. What's up? It's me, Nori. Um, I am doing the last player for this team. I'd like to thank Red Boy for having me in video. The last player in the team is going to be Mohamed Salah. He's going to be the last player I'm going to put into the team because he's really good and I think he scored a lot of goals for Liverpool this season once again because he always does it and he's just, you know, he's an absolute king and an Egyptian king. Yeah, throw image of the Sphinx on screen. Show picture of the pyramids. And the next biggest thing for tourists going to Egypt is Mohamed Salah, even though he spends most of his time in Liverpool and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go for Salah because he's cool and wicked and all that stuff and I wear my hat the wrong way round on my head because it's cool and stuff because the point of a, of a cap is to keep the sun out of your eyes like this. <laughs> that just about wraps up the video! So I removed this piece of garbage off my head. Thank you all for watching ever so much. If you did enjoy, please make sure you yeah. check that link down there again. Yeah, it'd be great. Other than that, make sure you do like, subscribe, leave a comment down below making me know how whack my picks were for this Premier League team of the season. If you do agree, let me know. If you don't agree, let me know. But it's been your host, Ref Boy from HITC Football and um, Hasta La Vista. Whew.